Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where I have completely forgot what the purpose of our trip was. I know we were trying to get through here. Uh, so I'm just going to go up to here and scan. And uh, yeah, we'll figure out something from there. Because uh, yeah, I totally, uh, totally blanked why we were going in this direction. I think maybe it was to head towards the trailer uh, store. I don't know if we're going to have enough fuel to do that, so we're going to kind of play it by ear and see how long it takes to get through here. And uh, yeah, if it doesn't take too long. Oh, we just completely stopped. Come on, there we go. Uh, but if it doesn't take too long and we have enough gas. We should be able to scan and then hopefully, hopefully we can, uh, come on, give me a tree that doesn't get ripped out. Oh, this trailer's killing me right now. Uh, but hopefully we, we get enough. All right. I'm going to pick that tree right there. Are we stuck on a root or something? Oh, I think we're stuck on a log. All right, let's try to pull. Let's try to pull off in this direction. See if that helps us at all. Yeah, there we go. All right, so as I was saying, I hope we have enough uh, fuel to get there. Although 16 gallons is not a lot. And I don't remember exactly how much it costs to uh, scan. <laughs> I want to say it's like 10. No, that doesn't sound right. You know what? We'll have to, uh, we'll figure that out once we get up there. It might be better to forego the scanning and just go straight to that trailer store and hope that we can uh, basically make it. <clears throat> Come on. And uh, I was nicely uh, reminded that I, uh, I apparently on the Ford, which we haven't technically used yet, uh, apparently I forgot to put the snorkel on it, so it's a good thing that uh, it's a good thing that we haven't really used it for anything yet. I don't think we have, have we? I'm trying to remember things now and I'm like, I don't know why I can't remember if we used it, but I'm pretty sure we didn't. We might have, we might have driven it around a little bit, but nothing too, uh, nothing too, you know, mind blowing of a trip. Uh, but yes, we do need to put a snorkel on it. So regardless of whether or not we used it, and it's a, it's it's an awkward day. I, I cannot remember for the life of me where I was going with this thing, um, and also if we used the fort or not. I think we I think we did use it. Come to think of it, um, but yeah. Now I'm starting to wish I had. Uh, Slightly better tires, but this is going to be probably the case. I don't, yeah, we can't really attach to anything. Like, I want to winch to that guardrail or something. Come on. Get me through here. This trailer is just absolutely wreaking havoc on uh, this vehicle's capability. It might have been better to use the, uh, Tartan to pull it and just have to mess around with the, the winch and stuff. Um, so where are we at here? You know what? I'm going to go for it. I actually missed this turn uh, horribly. Nope, I want that tree. No, nope, I wanted that tree. There we go. Come on, get me out of here. <clears throat> ah, 
Wow, maybe I should have done a little little bit of uh, practicing before I started doing the, uh, the whatchamacallit. You know what might be a good idea? We might just be able to scan from here. Let's go ahead and activate the radar. I believe there's 17 gallons in it. So whatever's left in here, we will uh, we'll throw in the truck. Area has been scanned. Perfect. Let's. I kind of figured this was the only thing up here. Uh, I do want to go pick it up though. So let's refuel. Uh, yeah. So it takes five. Cause we had uh, we had seventeen. So let's steal all the fuel. Nope. Did that wrong. Let's steal all the fuel out of the prototype. I'm going to drop it off. We are going to head up here just with the yard by itself. I, I don't think, I really don't think we would have been able to get through here with that trailer. This is uh, kind of tight through here, but uh, I don't know. We did, we did pretty well by ourselves, so that's good. Um, ooh, she's muddy. And definitely nothing up here for fuel or trailer or anything of that means. So we're going to grab this and hopefully. Uh, let me actually shut. Stop the truck so we can actually uh, do this. Let's uh, accept it. Let's start tracking. Wooden planks. Oh, we need wooden planks up here. Ah, uh, you know what? I know exactly what truck would work great for this. Uh, it's our Axion. <laughs> I think that will do uh, splendid. It is only one pallet of planks, so we could do a scout trailer. Maybe use this, this truck to do it. I suppose it all depends on where the wood planks are coming from. Uh, we could get a flatbed trailer from the trailer store, and if if we're lucky, the wood planks will be uh, nearby. All right, we're gonna just not not roll over. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I opted not to throw the uh, winch line just to see if, uh, just to see if we could, uh, upright ourselves. Let's just yank this back this way. This is kind of useless for us right now, but at the same time, let's mark this out. We got a long ways to go. Uh, we could possibly, if we can get to at least that point, the Axion uh, is actually a uh, fuel truck right now, so that could help us in the long run. Where? I guess I go straight. Where's my marker? Alright, anyways, we gotta get this thing turned around. Because we're probably gonna waste at least three gallons of gas doing this. Turned. Oh, I was hoping it would. You know what? Maybe we can sneak in here. Nope. Well. We'll definitely be able to get attached to it now. Attached trailer. Alright, off we go. Yeah, I could have sworn there should have been a marker, right? Oh, that's why. Alright, you know what? We're fine. That's why the marker wasn't showing up. It was still hanging out at the, uh, the little base that's up there. 
All right, anyways. I think it's going to be slow and steady through here. I'm hoping we can pick up some speed. But not too much speed because we all know what happens when I uh, drive too fast in this game. I end up uh, rolling things over and just creating a bigger hassle for myself. So. I think, I think this uh, rocky overpass is going to be uh, pretty straightforward in this vehicle. I'm a little nervous about the trailer itself because if we if we do end up if we do end up with the trailer sliding off the the end, I think it's going to be enough weight to kind of yank us off the uh, the cliff face. So we'll be. Uh, going down with the ship, as you would say. <laughs> if you were a, a captain of the Titanic, or <laughs> any other ship that has sunken in the last, uh, I don't know, 200 years. Anyways, I'm kind of driving through here blind. I think this is the right way. Yeah, because there was a uh, the upgrade down there, and I I went for it. I went down there without chains on, even though it's a very icy path up there, and somehow I managed to uh, get back up. But it did it did struggle a little bit. All right, let's uh, let's get on the rocks and uh, head across this wonderful. Gorge of, or I don't, I don't even know what you call it—a a cliff face. Uh, I mean, this this kind of reminds me of expeditions, being nothing but rock. Ooh, nice and slow. Make sure you make all your turns, keep all the wheels on the rocks, and keep them away from the edge, and we are. Golden. All right, we actually might be able to make it to the uh, fuel truck. And then I spoke too soon. We're gonna end up uh, <laughs> burning the rest of our gas just trying to get to it through all the snow. All right, we're gonna go inside the cab so that I can pick my trees better. I don't think I'm on a trail right now. No, I am not on a trail. I uh, I opted to go on the the trailless path, and I think that's the action. Yeah, that's that's our truck right there. But that was actually a lot easier than going through the mud and the ice down uh, the creek. So there you go. Uh, let's see here. What do we got for fuel? Axion's there. The small fuel kit. Cool. We can refill that. We can refill this. And we can refill the roof rack. And that still has three gallons of fuel. Nice. Uh, should we scan here? No. No, definitely not. I think we're going to scan up here. So let's, uh, let's go up this way. Probably, probably didn't really matter which way I went. I like to go for the direct route, which a lot of the time, especially in this game, will take way longer than going than going the long route.
Alright, uh, so we have a slight problem now. Uh, yeah, it's a slight problem, but we're just gonna go left. And hopefully we can get on the rock. That should help us out. Uh, we probably could make it down. But I think we'll just take, uh, we'll get on the rock base and just kind of crawl our way. Come on, I just want to get at least three wheels up on the rock. Should speed things up a little bit. There we go. Well, technically we don't, uh, we don't need to worry about... I was gonna sell this trailer. And then repurchase it to, to get a free tank of fuel. Oh, I'm way out of, way out of range right now. That's, there's attaching, okay, wow, well, that's fine. Um, let's see here. Did we, uh, did we get this one? Yes, we did. There's a trailer. Where can we get lumber? Oh, lumber planks. Look at all the tasks we have. Oh, <laughs> You're kidding, right? We got to drive all the way over here. Where did we start out? That's the gateway. Where's our garage? Our garage is over here. Okay. I don't know why. I've also forgotten the orientation of this map. We still gotta go get knee deep. That's all right. We'll get that sooner or later. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just scan from here. Why not? We should have 32 gallons of fuel, so we'll have 28 left. Area has been scanned. Yay. All right. Well, nothing good. We got a task and the uh, secured containers over here. So that will be, I believe that's for one of the missions that we've uh, recently found. We got a way over here to go up over there. That just seems like it's a long trail, but probably the wise one. Let's, let's see real quick. At 27, okay. Perfect. I was wrong. 28, yeah. I didn't do my math right, did I? That's, uh, that's not very good, so. Ah, that metro's gonna be hard to, uh, to deal with. Let's, uh, change trucks real quick, because I got an, I got an idea. It's probably not a very smart one, but it is an idea. I believe this truck will be way easier to get through the snow and mud than the yard with the, the trailer. So we're going to have a little convoy. Go ahead and turn on the headlights. I probably should advance to morning, but you know me. That's uh that's just too easy to do. And yeah, I'm gonna drive to about here and then we're gonna scan. And maybe we'll scan here too. 
let's actually do it this way. We'll scan here, and then we'll scan here. We're going to turn that engine off. We're going to put this truck in four all-wheel drive. Ooh, that's a nice little deep puddle. Nothing this truck can't handle. It could have been wise to bring a fuel trailer with me, and I probably should have. Uh, I might regret that. I might regret that. Yeah, we're totally going to fall into this. Go ahead and put the diff lock on. There's not really any trees through here. Yep, I don't want things backwards. Uh oh, I don't think we can attach to anything. Um, yeah, we're out of range for anything. I did not see this coming. Let's see if we can go... If we can get this truck behind us to push. Nope. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I found the Achilles heel of the, uh... That's, that's really not gonna help with you on top of us. Is it? Maybe? Alright. Uh, let's uh, stop the engine. Let's change trucks. See, the, the yard is light enough to go over this ice. Is it strong enough? With a winch and a trailer. To pull out the dairy. It, uh, it definitely looks like it will be. See, and this is why we travel in convoys. Okay, can we get it to move pulling the winch? Come on. We're so close. You know what though? Let's uh let's change trucks real quick. Cuz we might be close enough, enough now with our own winch to attach to something solid. Any of this solid? Nope. Let's try this one over here. Nope. Try this one. Nope. Is that everything? Are you kidding me?
Okay, we are... We are really stuck. Okay, let's stop the engine, change trucks. Let's go back to this strategy. Let's actually back this down. I think maybe we can get just enough. I wonder if we can push it backwards. And go forward. Do a little yank him. Uh, well, this is not looking good. So we are going to continue on without it. Yeah, I just spur of the moment. You know what? We'll go without the dairy. We'll, uh, we'll try to get a, a bigger vehicle. And maybe heading left would have made more sense. Go off this way. Uh, I'm now centered on a rock. Not, not thrilled with that one. Let's try to go this way. There we go, that's that's better. This is kind of a blind hill climb right here. I'm definitely going for those trees. Come on, give me the trees. Let me latch onto the trees. There we go. And again, I have no clue where the road is. We are we are actually way off of the road. That's probably not a good thing. But at the same time, you know what? This is Snow Runner. We can uh, we can make our own trail. Fortunately, where the heck do we go from here? There we go. Now I can see. Holy crap. Um, I think we just go over these. I know it seems stupid. Okay, am I on a road? Nope, still not on the road. Um, you know what? I'm gonna scan up here. We're gonna we're gonna get something done. And hopefully Oh, that would have been a nice screenshot right there, right? Boom. Oh well. Oh good, we have an upgrade. In the middle of the ice. Can't wait. Uh you know what? That might not be a bad That might not be a bad direction to head. The ice is usually a little bit easier and we are on a we are on a in a light vehicle. What? <laughs> yep. Alright, well so much for that idea. Let's uh head to the tuts. We've got 30 fuel. Okay, good. We've got some fuel here. Let's head off. Let's go to the trailer store. Let's get some fuel. Do I want to try to rescue? You know what? We might as well try it. We've got... We're only about halfway through this episode, so... I think we're gonna be good. Uh, how close? Oh, you know what? We are getting awfully close to the garage. I have a better idea. Let's recover. 
yeah, we're gonna recover. Obviously, we recovered. Uh, there was something I wanted to do on this truck. What was it? Gearbox. Off-road gearbox. Let's put the off-road gearbox in, because that would be smart. Let's sell all these. Uh, we do have the highway, but I don't think that's going to help us too much right now. We have to wait for the actives. We've got the big tires on here, right? I think 47 is the biggest. Yep, 47 is definitely the biggest. The winch... Uh, this is... This this is where I get confused, right? Because you have an autonomous winch on this vehicle, but it can haul big trailers. So is it a scout vehicle or is it an off-road vehicle? It's technically an off-road vehicle. Uh, maybe the only off-road vehicle with the autonomous winch, though. Uh, yeah, everything is extended. I wish this would have an extended. That's a high-powered. Ooh, is that smarter? Is it better to go with this? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is it better to go autonomous in case we roll over? Or is it better to go with an advanced medium? Which is a extended rope and an improved motor. So it might be able to pull that more, but... Does that matter with such a small vehicle? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, spear wheel? Yeah, we'll throw the spear. Spear, spear, spare, blah. Uh, although, you know what? I don't think we can have... Yeah. We lose the spare wheel if we, uh... Alright, well that's, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put snorkel on this. And, uh, let's see, differential, that's all good there. Bumpers. Oh, um... Do I like those? Those are like... That just kills the clearance. You know what? It's fine. Let's do it. Just because it's goofy looking. Uh, stock bumper? Wow. That's... That's... Pretty intense. Yeah, I'm doing it. I like how that's the cheapest op option. The option with the most metal... Is the cheapest. Uh... I'm going to go with those and the horns. Why not? Rims. Rims are rims. That's fine. Visuals. I kind of like the army green. Not going to lie. Everything else just doesn't really suit it. Uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad either. I'm kind of leaning towards keeping the army green. Oh, uh, whoops. And, uh, anything else? Anything else? No, interiors, eh. I really don't do interiors that much, so... Uh, do we have a bigger engine? S plus, A minus, fuel consumption. Ooh, there's a million dollar question. See, this is where I wish it told you how much... You know, how much power this has? Is is that going to be better than this? Because right now, power to weight is S+, plus, so that's on top. And the fuel consumption. I don't know. I, I have no clue. Let's go with this one. Let's sell. That one's 2,500. I'm tempted almost to go with that one. You know what? Let's go with this one. I know it's probably not going to be as good. Or, in, sorry, fuel efficient. <laughs> but, yeah, it's gonna. That's a big one. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. Oh, I don't have that one unlocked. Oh well. You know what? That's fine. Uh, let's leave the garage. We're gonna go to morning. We are going to go... Straight off that cliff. I 
Can I go that way? No, it... Alright, you know what? We'll just go... We'll go around the long way, we'll get on the ice, and then we'll cut through the ice. I think we can go this way. This truck should actually get through here no problem. I'm definitely glad I went with the low plus option. Good old off-road transmission. Alright, we're just gonna squeeze down here. Not take it too fast so that I don't roll over like I just did with the uh, the tartan or the the yar. Sorry. Oops. Let's uh, turn those off for one. Somehow my uh, <laughs> my differential started overheating. All right, we are gonna spin like crazy in this truck. Short wheelbase. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. I I honestly have no control right now. No, no, go. Okay, good. That was close. Um, uh, let's see here. I think I gotta go left because this is all water, right? How deep is this water? Shall we find out? can't really tell because of the reflection. Uh, yeah, that looks like super deep. <laughs> that looks like it's so deep that uh, nobody's getting this vehicle out. Okay, some repair points would have been nice. Alright, so we can cut through here. Don't dig an edge. The worst thing you do in this truck. No! Oh! Are you kidding me? That's the one thing I didn't want to do. Ah, <sighs> we were almost there too. Like, look at how close we are to it. All right, let's recover. Let's try this again. Round. Uh, take two. How many times will it? will it take to for us to get to the center of the Tootsie Roll? Sorry, Tootsie Pop. Uh, nope, that was right. You know what? I'm gonna go this way. It's fine. I think by the time you traverse everything... And I took a gear, I took a gear out to get the low end gear, so we could, we could have gone. Or we were able to go faster with the other transmission. I can't imagine what the highway transmission is like in this thing. Alright, so what do we got here? We've got about a half a mile to cover. I might actually grab the upgrade with this, with this guy. All right, so we gotta go around all this stuff. No, no, no! Don't you? Are you kidding me? All right. <laughs> Jeez. Take three. Uh, maybe that's going to be the title of this episode, is how many times does it take to get out to this, uh... To get to this point. I should have, I should have just, I should have recovered. I shouldn't have recovered. Oh, 
Oh man, speed speed kind of kills in this this vehicle. I am enjoying driving it though. I, I'm not gonna lie. This thing's a, a little it's a little wild. It's a little crazy. Like even there, I almost lost control of it. Um, maybe chain tires would be smart to have on this. I you know. I didn't look to see if you could have chains on these tires. That would be uh, best of both worlds. I definitely wouldn't have these issues on the ice of just randomly <laughs> catching an edge. So basically, at that point here... No, no, no. Thank you. At this point here, I just want to... Uh, let off the accelerator and and coast. It's funny because you 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 travel farther by sliding <laughs> than you do just letting off the accelerator. Oh oh, kicked on me. All right, let's get some grip on this stuff. This stuff is probably going to be my best friend. Because I can't really uh, lose control on it. As long as we go nice and slow. I'm, I'm not going to screw it up this time, I promise. If I do, I'm just, I'm going to quit SnowRunner altogether. Yep. This is it, guys. If I catch an edge here, and we roll over again, that's it. I'm done. I quit. A uh, little bit of bouncing there. A little sloppy through there. All right, where do we gotta go? We gotta go. There's an upgrade, like, right here, isn't there? Oh, it's way down here. Um, I'm going against my better judgment. I'm going to get the upgrade. I don't really know why I marked it. But I honestly feel like I should just lock the wheels up and slide. Because, yeah, you do definitely... <laughs> You, you travel farther by locking your brakes up than just coming off the accelerator. Uh, where is this upgrade? Gotta be... Eh, there it is. Perfect. Alright, do you think it's for the Ford? Is it for the Ford? I'm gonna say it's for the Ford. Engageable all-wheel drive for the Ford 750. Jeez, I, I feel like they brought the Ford 750 out just for this map. Alright, cool. Well, at least the Ford is now uh, drivable. We can actually use it as a scout vehicle and see how well it does. Uh, next game plan is to get rid of all these. We're going to go rescue the Yar. And what's the best way to do it? I think yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to travel back this way. Over all these little ice chunks. I mean I got this thing floored right now and I can't even I can't even go anywhere. Alright, nice and easy over the ice. Then we've got the same with the I'll I'll call them rocks. They're not pebbles and they're not boulders. Now we're kind of fighting to go around the boulders. Um, I think we go this bit. That way just doesn't look very possible. <laughs> this way looks like I should be able to sneak through here. The bad thing is, is I don't have winching. I have nothing to winch onto at all. I think we may be SOL if uh, this thing decides to flip over as well. 
should be able to, to hop over here with no problems. And hopefully, hopefully we can uh, winch onto that. But uh, maybe I should have grabbed the long one instead. Yeah, it's pretty short. Like the fact that I can't grab any of that. Wow. Maybe I should uh, rethink and 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 go with the uh, advanced winch. Because, yeah, we're definitely going to have issues getting this vehicle to flip over, aren't we? Come on. There we go. Alright, so that one's rescued. Uh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to say... I'm tempted to go try to rescue the... Uh, the dairy. We've got more fuel than we need. Ah, uh, maybe I should have refueled. That would have been... That probably would have been smart. Do a little bit of rock climbing through here. Where is the actual road? Okay, I'm technically on it right now. Like, this is, this is the road? No. There's, there's no way this is the road. Man, this game needs a, needs to redefine what a trail is, because, yeah, the dairy's not getting through here. All right, we have no winch points now, so let's, let's figure this out on our own. Yeah, I'm starting to think it was a bad idea to uh, try to bring the dairy through here. We're going to have to go up that side, kind of make our own path. Alright, well the good news is we've made it. The bad news is, is we probably don't have enough weight or power to do this. And apparently I don't have enough braking in my handbrake to uh, keep us from going down the mountain. Lock it up, thank you. Come on. Yeah, we definitely want to turn on that truck. Whoa. Come on, Derry, you can do it. You're almost through. Yes, you're through. Okay. Uh, looks like it's struggling still. See if we can't get on the trail again. There we go. Um, perfect. Uh, let's turn this around first before we uh, decide to go. I think we're going to have to head off towards that way. It was, uh, it was not very bright to bring a large truck through here. I'm, I'm not going to lie about that at all. 
I don't even know if we can get it through here. But I want to kind of, if we can, I want to set this up so that we can uh, kind of haul it back. Bring it with us. Alright. Let's stop the engine there. Probably can't change it, so... Get locked on. What? That was weird, sitting there telling me I can't turn the diff lock on. I guess the good news is, is this, uh, the Axion is just as wide as this truck. Now the only downside is, is it probably can't flip. The Axion won't be able to pull. Uh, the dairy upright if I tip it over. Come on, we're hurt. Like, there's not that many winch points. Thank you. That got my. The one wheel's not even spinning. There we go. That's, uh. That was strange. I think the parking brake was uh, left on. Right, I don't know where to go from here. They're saying there's a road there. I guess we'll go left and find out. Like, it doesn't look very promising. But I suppose that's a road. On this map, that's a road. Alright, let's just go. Oh goody. We're slightly stuck. Through. Where are we going, anyways? I don't even know where we're going right now. Uh, we're just kind of traveling in this direction, I guess. <laughs> oh man. I've completely forgotten what we're doing. I was supposed to be scanning. That's technically what I was supposed to be doing. We are slowly running out of time though, so maybe if we can at least get down... Oops, that took a little bit of damage. Uh, maybe we can get down to... Something down here. We can either get to a pass to unlock. Yeah, that's... I figured that was going to happen. Uh, what do we got here? We've got a really horrible path that we're on. We do have this truck that we could go get. Or we could just randomly explore. That was probably dumb of me. I probably should have backed up a little bit more. You know what? That works. Hook back up. There we go. Let's get off this uh, rocky hillside. 
I'm just going to make my own path at this point. Uh, now the real question is, is do I want to try to go after that? It's only 0.5. Let's do it. We got a hill climb in front of us, but I think once we get up to the, the top and we have the ice that I see there, we can kind of adopt and uh, we can switch roles and take the Axion up and over the ice because that should not break through. This will probably, this will probably break through the ice and then we have issues there. So let's see, where can we weave through here? Can we go this way. Yep, that's looking good. As long as, the, as long as the truck behind us doesn't get snagged on a tree. Oh. Well, you know what? It's it's on its side, so we'll see what happens. Come on, give me that torque. I know it's not technically really torque in this game, but that's what it would be in real life. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Alright, let's try to, uh, let's try to upright this thing. Should not be a problem. Wow, as long as I put it in the automatic and back up. <laughs> I should easily... be able to flip it back on its side. Maybe with a little bit of coercing. There we go. Change the trucks. I wonder if this truck will end up looking that frosted it stays out here long enough. I never really paid attention to that. I think it does. I think the frosting... Oh, what? Uh, what? Um... Okay. I'm <laughs> not really sure what happened there. No winch points. Um... I don't think that's going to flip us over. Oh, if anything, it's going to end up making it worse. All right, well, let's uh, change trucks. Didn't I didn't want to bring the dairy down this far, but that's okay. We're not we're not on ice yet. We're just gonna knock it, knock it over until it's. I think this is solid ice. So yeah, this this looks pretty solid. Although it's so solid, we're stuck. I'm starting to, to second guess my opinion on uh, getting chain tires. I'm not gonna lie there. Anyways, let's uh, you know what? Let's just use. This looks like it's pretty solid ice too. Let's see what we gotta do here. Uh, could you help me out here? I bought some boards to the metro station, but got stuck and ruined half of my vehicle. Could you get me to the mechanic, please? Be a friend, okay? That doesn't make sense, but I got stuck and ruined half on my vehicle. Ruined half on my vehicle. Yeah, that just doesn't make sense. I think somebody screwed up there. Um, so what, I gotta get... What, it has nothing to do with this truck? 
I just have to deliver... What? Okay, there we go. I didn't... I, I, I was wondering what was going on there. Uh, we have no repair points. Do we? No, we don't. I can give it fuel. But I don't know if that's what it needs. Um, refuel. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. All right, let's stop the uh, stop the engine there. Let's go back to the yar because the yar's not too far away, and it has repair points. And it should have enough repair points. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Let's mark this so we remember. We're going to take care of this one in the next episode. So I thank you for watching. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Tell me why though. Everyone loves to just down thumb and then never tell you why but tell me why you didn't like it tell me i suck i don't care anyway <laughs> uh, i hope to see you in the next episode bye for now